show you how to do an easy maintenance video. I've taken apart, or well, this comes off for the extractor fan in the bathroom. This is the bathroom one. I've already cleaned this up. It's easy to pop it down and clean it. You have to unscrew it, don't you, Jay? Yeah. So you can adjust. You can, um, if you, I'll show you how to take it apart and properly in a minute. But you can adjust the drum here so that it sucks up more of the air. So what you do is, I've got my platform. You just gently just put your fingers around it and you'll see on here, there's four little clips which hold it up into the casing on the ceiling. But as you can see, this is quite an easy maintenance job because you can see after a while, all the debris builds up um as it's you know as it sucks out all the moisture out the air especially when you're cooking and stuff and we haven't cleaned this since we moved in so this is the first time for this one so to take it apart it's quite easy there's two little bolts there so if you gently just untake that apart uh, so i'm taking it apart as you can see i'm wearing gloves to protect my hands and you can wash it up. You can clean it. Cleans up very well with a bit hot boiling hot water with hot water and a bit of washing up liquid. So I've taken the other bolt off very carefully, like so. Now we can adjust this. This gets a bit soft. So you can get your fingers in there, and you should be able to unscrew it. So it's now unscrewing. Let's do it more over the sink because the dust is going everywhere. But this is like a, I suppose, like a quarterly job, you know, once every three months or so, or every four months. This is the first time we've done it in, I think, 11 months of living here, so it needs to be done. So I'm unscrewing it gently. And you can adjust, talking about that, you can adjust so you can have the drum out a bit more, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We'll get this cleaned up first. And what I suggest you do as well is to use a hoover and just suck up all the dust around the top there so it's all nice and clean, ready for you to put it all back together again. Uh, here we go. It's coming apart slowly. Okay, so now that's in two pieces. So now I've got my hot water with washing up liquid, just gently, it gives me a chance to get the paint off where the, uh, where, let me need to get paint all over it. So just give it a nice, good, gentle clean to get all the rubbish off. God, this one's filthy. Just gonna get in all the necks and crannies. Get a nice big clean. And here we go, I'm just giving it a nice little bit of a clean up. I hope this video will be useful for you guys because it's just showing you I'm I'm one of these people who take things apart. And I thought I'd just pop it up and see if it popped off actually and it did. So, I'm just gonna give it a quick rinse with some hot water. Whoops, should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that's nice and clean now. So I'm just gonna put that in there. It's gonna give the little end a clean. Don't just put this directly in the water because the water will get in there. And you don't want that to happen. So just give it a nice bit of a clean and a little rinse just to get all the dust off and gently dry it all off with a tea towel. So. And I'm gonna dry that up. And then I'm gonna give that a quick hoover around the top and then we'll pop it back on. But what I'll do is, I'll show you the one I've done, which we prepared earlier. We're a bit like Blue Peter. So we've got our one there. And I'll show you how to put it all back together.
because if you um, make sure that you clean it on a regular basis as well, um, going back from my days when I used to work in the cleaning industry, you get um, it will work at full capacity. You, you'll get better suction, but if you just leave it and leave it and leave it, your suction will start to um, not be so good. So it's always good to keep on top of the maintenance, but it's also keeping it all nice and clean and keeping it shiny, having a nice clean extractor fan. The clean extractor fan's a happy one. Right, there we okay. go. That's all nice and clean. I'll just show you how to put it back together. So it's going to be in the reverse of what's gone on. So you just gently put, screw that in. But you can adjust this so it can, you've got to be very careful. Because if you don't, because it's going in, metal going into plastic, you've got to be very careful on screwing this back in. Because you don't, the last thing you want to do is cross thread it and then you've kind of um, knackered it. So you just gently, these build, I don't know who put this together, but in the first place, there we go, it's done. So you just gently pull it in, but you can adjust it so you can get better suction. So what we've done is we've adjusted it down a bit further, just so that we get better suction and it will take out the moisture, more moisture out the air. At a higher, once it's you know, when you got on number three, it's on a higher capacity, right? So, we're gonna adjust it up to like that level, I think. Yeah, yeah, Sarah's happy with that. And you just gently put the bolts back on, trying to bolt some rubber gloves. Like that, there we go. Uh, then I'll just put the bolts back on and then that will just pop up back up there again so you put your bolts back on and Bob's your uncle it's done all right guys and then what you do is just give it a nice clean around the top there and then you just pop it back on <laughs>